My name is Tyler Ashman. I go by TRA. Um, I'm from Rochester, Minnesota, but I'm based in Milwaukee. I'm an artist. Um, I'm a creator. I like to be doing lots of things, no matter what it is. I do photography, film, video, um, and music. And yeah, I like to create. My friend from high school, Ben Coulot, uh, I remember him posting something uh, on Instagram and it was like a promotion or something. And by then you guys were pretty small. So it was like, um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get on this because I'm making an album right now and like I want some promotion. So I reached out, I think to you guys directly um, and followed you and was like, hey, yo, like I'm releasing an album soon. Like I sent you a couple um, music videos, I think. And then you promoted one of our, one of my singles um, that was shot in Rochester in January. Um, and then I just kind of started from there. That's a tough question because I like a lot of food. <laughs> um, God, it either had to be like pasta or like pepperoni pizza because you can't go wrong with that. That's pretty fucking boring, but like, <laughs> I don't know. Pizza's so good. You can't really pass that up. If it's good pepperoni pizza, you, you just can't go wrong with that. I don't know. It's a weird fucking shit, but like, I was really into Legos when I was younger. And. I used to make the fucking, like, I had, like, a Lego table. My dad had this, like, he made this, like, wooden Lego table, and we bought, like, like mats for it. And I would build, like, whatever I was into at the time, like, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, like, whatever I was into, I'd build, like, the entire world <laughs> on the Lego table. So, like, I would, I would buy, like, sets, like, Lord of the Rings, let's say, and I'd make, like, Middle Earth on the fucking Lego table. So I guess that would be me like me being like the most creative as a young age, but like I would get into that shit and I would like, it would take me like months to build that and it would look so cool. <laughs> I was so proud of it. There's a lot of artists I feel that way about. Um, I think like if Logic wasn't an artist, I feel like I wouldn't have had that inspiration to keep going with it because he's really open about his creative process and um, like I watch a lot of his videos to get inspiration and to get like just like what I want to do and like, oh, this like gets me into it because I'm seeing how he does it and like it's not that different. Um, and obviously his music inspires me in general. So like I feel like if he didn't make music and he wasn't as open, I don't think I would have made that leap to like want to make music, I think. Well, at this point I haven't been on stage yet and I'm not embarrassed to say that just because of uh, COVID. Like I just released my first like project, you know, last year. So COVID had already hit and I was like, whatever, like, I'll, I'll plan a show in the future. I'm just going to focus on making music right now. But, um, I, I used to do like plays as a kid for like my church and shit. And I would get nervous, but like, it's something that I can overcome. Like definitely. But like, I am a very like anxious person. So like, I definitely would get nervous right away, but I think like I'm ready to take that step and like make it like good. And I think that I would do well after the first couple times and you know learn how to deal with like being nervous and i think i just put on a confident like facade and like deal with it that way i guess i don't know <laughs> i think like being true to like who who i am i guess or, like who you are or whatever i think like i i don't try to put on like a show and and, and pretend that i'm something that i'm not so i think like whenever i feel myself going that direction i stop and like consider like what what I'm doing, if I'm doing this for myself or if I'm doing this for, to make other people like me. And I think like I keep myself really focused when I'm making music and I set goals. Um, and I really try to, um, like stay true to who I am and make sure that like I'm making the music I want to make and I'm not making music to, um, to get to the, the fucking money and shit quicker. I want to make, make it and get a like solid fan base and like have that. Um, and yeah, I think just keeping keeping real to me and keeping good, I think, is, like, the biggest thing for me. And, like, that's, like, what I feel like sets me apart from a lot of people that are making music right now. It depends on what song it is, I guess. <laughs> uh, if I made a song in 60 minutes, if it was a good beat, it would sound like... It'd be probably hype because those are a lot easier to write. Um, obviously, like, it's harder to write a song that, like, means something to you because I, I, I like to sit down and think about exactly what I'm writing and, and take my time with the rhyming and and the flow or whatever but if i made a song in 60 minutes it'd probably be like super like it'd be like really it'd go hard and it would have like a sick hook but it would be like really hype i think mm. i think it would say like i can do hype shit too like i think my last album was a lot of um it's just kind of all over the place i think this new album i'm working on right now is very um in tune to what i want to be as an artist very like focused and um talking about things that I actually give a fuck about. 
Um, but I think like it would show like, yeah, I can still be hype and kind of like how logic makes his like Bobby Tarantino mixtapes and shit. Like he, he goes hard in a lot of his albums, but a lot of it's like, he's, he can make some hype shit to make people like feel good too. So I think that would say that about me. Damn. I hope to be fucking retired and be living life, dude, <laughs> living in Hawaii or some shit. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that I'm successful at some point. Um, and that by 70, I am chilling and I am living in warm weather, uh, my kids are through college. I have a fucking wife that I don't hate. And I got like, I got some pets and shit. And uh, I'm just chilling. I want to, like, I'm, right now I'm envisioning, envisioning myself like sitting on a beach or like sitting by the pool and just fucking like rum and coke in hand. Favorite drink. <laughs> Shout out rum and coke. <laughs> um, but just chilling and like just living life and just like letting the, not having to worry about money or like not having to worry about like, um, you know, like having, like, did I regret anything and having no regrets? I think that's like the biggest thing for me. So I feel like at the age of 70, you're trying to make music. I feel like you just don't connect with the younger generation. So maybe you're trying to connect with the people that are still your age, but I feel like at that point it's like, I don't know. So I guess it depends on, um, if I still am like, I want to be retired and relax or I want to keep working. Cause I have a pretty like I like to keep working, so I don't know if I'd be able to stop randomly. Right, exactly. So I'm, I'm, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, how are people at our age going to act when we're older? Like, we have no idea. Because every single person I know that's old right now just has no idea what's going on with technology and shit. I'm like, I'm sure that'll be us, but like in a different way. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of funny to think about. Just some mental health shit. Um, I've had it for a couple of years, and I'm working really hard to get it back on track, but I think it also helps that's like a big reason of what i make my music about and like why i keep making music it's just like a platform event and shit and i think a lot of people are scared to talk about that in the music just because they don't think people are going to relate or whatever or just like not like it i guess but i think like i think the opposite i think like i think people relate to it and i think that it, there there's like a there aren't many people that talk about it so i think like it's a good choice for me to be like all right i want to talk about this and there's not many people doing it right now so like let's be different um but i think like i struggle with a lot of like just like self-esteem and shit and just like getting myself like to not get or getting myself to be out of my comfort zone. I think that, um, that's something I definitely struggle with, but I'm working really hard right now to get myself back on track. Um, alive would probably be logic. I think he'd be, I, I know I keep saying logic and shit, but like he, he just like, I feel like he would totally do that with like a small rapper or Drake too. I feel like if, if I had a collab with Drake, that would be career would just go up from there. Um, but I think like logic just because I think we have not like super similar styles, but I think like in the way that um, I wouldn't have to make a hype song, I could make something different. Um, and I think like I wouldn't be settling for something that like I'm not, I guess, as an artist, like I wouldn't have to sacrifice some of the lyricism or whatever. I think we could just have like a fucking good time. Um, and Ted, I have no idea. Juice World, I think th now that you said that, that I, I fucked with his music hard. 2018 that was the biggest like year where i discovered him because he was popping and uh yeah it would definitely be juice actually because i i think he's like one of those rappers that's not scared to talk about mental health either i think that like a, a collab with somebody who isn't scared at also like i think is like really i think that'd be sick and he has a really different style than me too so i think it would just be like a cool like i don't know just like showing how two styles can mesh really well i'd like to think i was like some animal that had no like restraints dude i love sea turtles dude and there's this weird connection i have with sea turtles i fucking love them and i think being a sea turtle would be fucking sick just like being able to swim through the ocean they don't give a fuck dude and dude sea turtles are so fucking funny too they just look so weird and uh yeah i i think i think i was a fucking sea turtle when i was and i that's my favorite animal but like for for real like they i gotta be because they were so, they're so fucking cool, dude. I love them. Definitely my home studio um, because I built it myself. Um, and it's just like a creative space because it's like my bedroom. And then I have like a closet that's like just big enough where I'd like, I'd be able to make like, I have like my desk fits in there perfectly. I got LED lights. I got like foam shit on the walls to make the sound not bounce around as much. Um, and obviously my mic and shit's in there. So like when I'm in there, like I can close the door. And like, I can just get into creative space and like, there's nowhere else. Like I used to make music and like, even when I'm home, like I was home for two months for Christmas, um, in Rochester and, uh, 
I had like a fucking table, like a pullout table, whatever they're called. Um, and or like a card table. I had a fucking card table and I like strapped my mic to it and shit. I mean like my bedroom, I just feel like it's hard to mix like your bedroom with your like regular space when you're like creating music. Cause you just don't feel like you're leaving that area. Um, so I definitely like my home studio. Um, cause I get the most shit done there. Um, my album will be dropping soon. And by the time this drops, it'll probably be out. Um, hoping to drop it in the next like month, month and a half. Um, I'm almost done with it. Um, but obviously when this is coming out, I just dropped a single, but that single is on the album. So homemade is what it's going to call, be called. So yeah, you're the first to know that. <laughs> uh, shout out my family. Um, they don't get rap music, but they support me. <laughs> my dad doesn't, I don't even know how I got into rap, honestly, cause my parents don't like it. Um, but uh yeah shout out ben for making all my shit my last album uh shout out my roommates milwaukee derek and connor 